Hey, Alexis Love Beauties and Flawless Men. So we are back with another grocery shopping haul and I am so excited. I love doing these videos because I love talking and I love explaining. That's what we're on this channel for. I will never put you on anything that I don't use or anything I don't believe in. So let's start with the baby water, honey. Please don't get me for using y'all baby wipes and y'all baby water. But we're going to transfer this water into a glass container. I also went to Walmart and the Dollar tree but i got these things from walmart um this is an astringent it's a deep cleaning cleanser something that i learned was that salilac <laughs> salilac acid is an acne medication so anytime you see this in a like face product is really really good that is just literally an acne treatment so i wanted to try this because i've been seeing this a lot i've been doing my extended research and that's just the information i came across during all of my research that is just good for acne and it is an acid but it's not like a harsh alcohol acid so I ha it's always going to have two percent don't ever go over two percent so when i read the directions in the store they were saying like you know what i'm saying make sure that you're doing your extended research because you don't want to do this. You can dry your skin out, da, da, da. So I love it. I'm going to go ahead and give this a try. Equal Beauty is a really good brand as well. They're a really affordable brand. I got that for like $2.98. CeraVe is a really, really good brand. See, I've been trying to find something for my skin that I can just hold on to that I can use, but I still haven't found like the good system. So I've been kind of like trying to make my own. The things that I have been using thus far has been like, uh, so I want to see about the salic acid because I've been hearing about that. Um, it was this other like cream in the store that I was going to get, but they were sold out. So we're going to see what these two products do. This is a CeraVe cleansing bar. This is for normal to dry skin. I have a combination of both of dry skin, acne prone skin. So I know CeraVe is a really good brand as well. They have some really good ingredients in here. And then also I got this from the dollar store. So I use the Dove soap. And then every now and again, I do love to use the Dow soap antibacteria. You always want to make sure you're deep cleaning your skin. Also, I like to follow up with a body wash. So be sure to check out that video about how to stay fresh for longer. I got some more hand sanitizer. I do like to get that with aloe vera and vitamin E sometimes. Um, alcohol can be like very ir irritating to dry skin, but I still need it. I got this from the dollar store, the coconut oil to do the oil pull because I don't use mouthwash. And also, I like to use some on my body. I like to cook with it because I don't like to cook with vegetable or soy oil. So one of these are going to go in the kitchen. Then one of these are going to go in the restaurant for my personal use. The baby wipes I usually get were sold out. So I opt in for these. Again, that Equal brand is a really good brand. I just got a pack to see how those are going to work. Lately, I haven't been using the... Um, dish soap or the uh what is it washing powder that i've been getting lately i've just been using pure baking soda and sometimes i'll use the um oh i'm having like a clear brain right now i'm super geek every time i get so geeked up i can't even talk for real what is it called it's the uh come on lord it's uh distilled vinegar thank you lord so now when i like to wash my clothes i use the pure baking soda and distilled vinegar which is really really good for my sensitive skin i haven't had any like breakouts or anything um and you know baking soda is just sodium um so it hasn't done anything to my skin so i've been finding this really affordable you know you can use baking soda for anything and it's almost in everything i literally use this as my uh washing detergent and and distilled vinegar leaves the clothes feeling good the clothes don't stink the clothes feel really clean like they feel clean they feel good they feel comfortable it feels like when i wash my clothes with this i get like this extra layer of like comfort i don't know it just make the clothes feel really good i got a bunch of kale and I have got some pesto sauce. You'll see. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to check out the short stories because honey's about to go down with this. Pesto is more on the expensive side. I didn't know they sell like the great value kind. Love, love, love pesto, honey. You can put pesto with anything. This is just something I just learned about capers are they're like a luxury. Um, I used to work with these when I worked at a bagel shop. I didn't really know what they were. Um, but capers are usually found in like Spain and they are a immature flower. So this is actually a flower. As we know, you can eat flowers like you can eat roses. Be sure to check out that video when we talk about the benefits of roses or, you know, how you can smell like roses for the ladies um, because our flowers do have a lot of our nutrients in it as well. So capers are an immature flower. That's why they're very small. They are full of sodium. 
them and you know this is like a, a delicacy you don't really eat a lot of these because of the sodium you just get like a serving like two <laughs> two uh, tablespoons of these um and for somebody like me that don't eat a lot of sodium anyway i think that'd be cool so i wanted to try these out you use these like a garnish anyway you don't eat them i got some more pizza though i'm not really making a pizza i'm gonna make like some garlic bread and things with that you know we had to get the prune juice honey we get the prune juice because we gotta rinse all this stuff back out don't forget the prune juice sweet son i need you to like, give me a call honey call me call me I got the noodles. Okay, I said we were going to get her this noodle trend, but honey, noodles been hitting lately. And I learned about noodles. They really don't break down in the body good as they're supposed to. But I mean, hey, you know, people do what they have to do. People eat how they want to eat. But this is why I always say, you know, follow up with some prune juice. Whatever you eat, look, every man can do whatever they want to do. Overall, I always encourage us to do our extended research so we can have, you know, healthier foods in our diet. That way we're not, you know, getting sick out here and anything like that. So I'm not be smashing on the channel. And if you don't know, you got to if you don't know, now, you know, you go through them stories. I'm like, bro, she be smashed like a grown man. <laughs> but um, so you can eat however you want to eat, but you just want to make sure that you have a good balance of health in general. Um, and then you get to a point of being like 100% oh, healthy, then that's amazing. Me, I'm not like, I want to say 100% healthy, but I do take care of myself. That's the number one thing to take care of yourself. We're human. We have different taste buds. Nobody is perfect. But overall, y'all know I'm taking my vitamins, my minerals. We getting little workouts. You have to do different things to keep your body up. Sometimes people would just keep going and going and going. By the time they look up, they don't realize that their body is gone that their mind is gone that their health is gone so you have to be really really conscious of the things that you do eat um but you know I, this is not something for me i haven't eaten noodles in about i don't want to estimate too hard but i want to say about eight or nine years like that's on the real like i eat pasta but like noodles like this i have not probably about eight years um i haven't bought them i haven't bought them and so, um, but I had just bought some probably like a few weeks ago. And today, again, you know, follow up with that prune juice, whatever you choose to eat. Prune juice is very affordable. Whatever you choose to eat, you want to get that prune juice because it has all of these nutrients in here. And this is going to help to clean out your system. So whatever the body don't break down, the purpose of the prune juice is to push that out and break it down. And it works immediately. Please don't be scared to go to the restroom. This have your vitamins, your fiber, your potassium. This have everything that you need. This is what you need. If you don't like medicine, if you don't like pills and stuff, get you some prune juice, baby. And that, that's not going to cover everything. But as you can see, it's going to cover some things. I'm at Walmart, right? I seen this young lady. Her cart was kind of in front of mine. And then she walked in front of me. She said, I'm sorry. I wasn't even looking at her, honey. I was looking at what she did. Y'all probably gonna be like, oh my God, you didn't know that? No, I didn't know that because she got her meat and put it in this bag. And I was like, wow, what a wise woman. She was like, yeah, I do this all the time. I was like, I never even knew you can do this. She was like, I mean, you think about it. You got meat everywhere. You got your purse and stuff. Like, yeah. And I was like, oh my God, like that make a lot of sense. Like, thank you so much for your wisdom. She's like, of course. I went and grabbed me a bag and that makes a lot of sense. I've never seen it. I've never seen nobody do it out of all the women, out of all the men. I never knew that this was there. It's right next to the little sanitizer, but I never paid attention. And it is for food safety. It is to help be more clean, to prevent cross-contamination. You can keep this, you know, with your food. You know how we open stuff and just throw it in the freezer? Put it back in the bag, honey. Put it back in the bag. They say don't cross-contaminate. Um, you can cook and chill it. You can cook, you know, put it back in the bag, cover it up. So this is really wise of her. I love that. So this is some colossal shrimp. I wanted to try some shrimp. I know I really don't eat shrimp like that. Walmart shrimp, it ain't really that good lately, but I wanted to try the colossal shrimp. Y'all yeah, know I had to get my organic chicken. Come on, you already know. And the butter. I had got this butter. Love, love, love this butter. I don't use butter. I don't use a lot of butter, but... When I do, I try to get this. If I don't, I still got like the regular yellow butter. Overall, I love to get the pure Irish butter because it is so delicious. This butter is made from, um, you know, healthy cows. Um, I believe they might be Irish cows, but it is so delicious. It's so clean and it's healthier for you. Like this is the better version to opt in for. 
um again you know this costed four dollars but it that's okay we're gonna pay now or pay later we're gonna cry now and laugh later i mean it's just whatever you choose to do i choose to take care of myself while i'm young because you know don't make no sense how we're out here young and we're looking and feeling so old so i mean just give things a try give things a try like it's just the way we think about it, period. I mean, we'll cash out on whatever we want to. Me, I'm the type of person, I spent 200000 on a watermelon, honey. And, you know, things like that. Like, when you go to other countries and stuff, you will see that things is high. Like, we be like, oh, my God, like, $4 for some butter? Like, what? Girl, I'm about to get the 50 cent butter. You go to another country, it's like, that's not, that's not high. Like, that's just, it's just, I don't know what it is, just, it's just. You know, being more conscious, being more healthier. And I be watching them cooking channels and, them, you know, the videos about around the world. And, I mean, people be spending 200000 on a watermelon, $4 million on a grapefruit. And it be that serious. So, that's the type of person I am. That's the type of stuff I think about. And I wanted to get this brown rice spaghetti, gluten-free spaghetti. And I just learned about sardines. So, I learned about these and they contain 17,000 milligrams of omega-3 fatty acids, which all fish is supposed to contain omega-3 fatty acids. A lot of them do not. Uh, wild caught fish is the best fish. The thing about sardines is this is a very powerful fish because of that 17,000 milligrams of omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3 fatty, fatty acids just play a part in our overall health. Omega-3 fatty acids is found in a lot of our vitamins, like our uh, B vitamins. And so omega-3 fatty acids is really good for skin, energy, you know, the same thing you'll take fish oil for. Um, skin, hair and nails, it's just overall everything. So I learned about sardines. You can get them in the can. And um, I got these. These are organic. And I got these because they are boneless and skinless. This is going to be my first time trying them. Um, I'm not about to be thugging it and just eat them right out the can. So you can cook them down a little bit. I'm probably going to mix them in some food for the first time. I probably try them just like they are just to see. But that is a really good amount of nutrition right there per container. Um, with my extended research, people say you cannot overdo this. Like you can eat this a lot. Some people say they do it only two times a week just to get that amount amount and they don't overdo it so I love it I wanted to try it depending on the taste it's something that I might begin to add these are only two dollars and twelve cent again a really good food that is giving you the dietary supplement that you need it also has like a little bit of trans fat in there which total fat shouldn't go over I think about I think it's like 15 percent but that's okay um, it has a little bit of sodium. It has a little bit of everything in here, but this is just what it is. It's sardines and water. So this is a really good fish to have because I'll be bagging the catfish and different stuff like that. Some of that stuff don't have no benefit. So y'all yeah, know I had to get the avocado from Mickey Go. And I have my green bell pepper. I did get some cut okra. I'm probably going to fry these in the deep fryer. Um, yeah, these are those nutritional yeast pills contain all of the B vitamins really good for energy got some paper towels Some of us can use the expensive tissue or the tissue that's fragrant So honey if you're looking for some tissue because you're real sensitive Walmart got that tissue for 64 cent. I love it. You know, don't judge me judge yourself, honey Do your extended research that other stuff don't work for me got some hand soap I got this dish soap that I love and y'all know I had to get to Ajax